potential difference. Now, just now we learned that potential at A is uh, 2 volt. Potential at B is 5 volt. So then what is the potential difference between A and B? Potential difference. Okay. Is equal to what? 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt, 4 volt, or 5 volt? Yes, the answer is 3 volt. Why? This 5 volt, this 2 volt, the difference is 3 volt, right? So the potential difference between point A and point B is uh, 3 volt. So what is potential difference? Potential difference is the difference of the potential. <laughs> difference is the potential. But anyway, from the definitions, eh, the potential difference between two points is defined as the work done to move one column of positive charge from one point to another point. What does this mean? Eh? Okay, now just now we know that uh, point B, 5 volt, right? Point A, uh, 2 volt, eh? 2 volt. So if you move this one column of charge from uh, this uh, infinity to point A, you do two joules of work, right? How about if you want to move this one column of charge, eh? you move it to point B, how many joules of work need to be done? Yes, can any of you tell me? If you move from infinity to A, you do two joules of work because it's two volt, eh? because the potential two volt. B, the potential five volt. So how many joules of work need to be done to move this one column of charge from infinity to B? Cindy say five joules, yes, yes. Okay, why? Because the potential five volt. Five volt means you must do five joules of work uh, to move one column of charge, right? Now, if this point A, it moves this one column of charge, eh? you do two joules of work to point A. Eh? After that, it's already in A. Eh? After that, this point B, it moves this charge from point A to point B. Point A to point B. Eh? Now, from infinity to A, already to do two joules of work. Eh? Now, from A to B, how many joules of work will be done? Can any of you tell me? From infinity to A, you do two joules. From A to B, how many joules of work will be done? We know that from infinity to B, it must be five joules of work. Three joules, yes. Okay, why? Because in total, it must do five joules of work, right? From infinity to B, yeah, must five joules. Yeah? So here to here, three joule, two joules. Here to here must be three joules. So if you move from A to B, yeah, you do three joules of work. Okay? And for the definition, is how many joules of work, yeah? Work done to move one column of charge from one point to another, right? So if you move from A to B, you do three joules of work for one column, eh? one column. So what's the potential difference? The potential difference will be three joule per one column, right? It's oops, three, three wood. So three wood. So can you see that? That's what does it mean by potential difference. If you have two points, you move the one column of charge from point A to point B. It do three joules of work, three joule per one clump. Okay, so the potential difference is three volt. Yeah, three volt. So next time, in a circuit, in a circuit, I tell you. Okay, I say now there are two points C and D, and the potential difference between these two points, the potential difference is three volt. So what does it mean? It means if you want to move one column of charge from C to D, you must do three joules of work. So three volt means three joule per one column. And always remember how many work, how much work done uh, is related to the speed of the charge move. The high, the the more work done, the faster the the, the charge flow. Eh? So that is uh, what does it mean by potential difference? Uh? How much work done to move one column of charge? Now, how about this one? This is two jo two column, right? Two column. Eh? So if this two column charge, I want to move it, move it from B to A. How much work done? If you move one column of charge, it do three joules of work. But this is two column. Two column. If I want to move it from B to A, how much work done? One column, you do three joules of work. Two column, how many joules of work done? Six joule, that's correct. So you see, the higher the charge, the more work done. The more work done means it move faster, eh? move faster. The concept of potential difference eh? 
sometimes is quite abstract for SPM students. If you really not comfortable with it, it's really can't understand blur, okay, can't accept it, then you just memorize this formula. You just memorize this formula. It's okay, it's okay. If you really don't understand, it's okay, fine. Okay, because uh, when you go to higher levels, uh, uh, I don't know why, sometimes it just automatically you understand it. But for SBM, uh, sometimes this concept is too abstract for you. So then it's okay. Then you, you memorize this formula. Okay, because just by memorizing this formula, uh, you can do most of the questions. I can't guarantee that you can do 100% all the questions, but most of the questions, 80 or 90% of the questions you can do, okay? So just try to memorize this formula. Also, by definitions, potential difference is how much work done per one unit of charge, right? So we take work done divided by uh, how much charge. So or uh, in uh, formula, we write V equals to W over Q. Well, v is potential difference, W is work done, and Q is the amount of charge amount of charge so for example for example let's say um, uh, we have two point here point X and point Y okay and then we move a charge flow from point X to point Y given that we do uh, 30 joules of work 30 joules of work and the charge is uh, 6 column 6 column so what's the potential difference so just by using the formula V equals to W over Q, okay. Uh, w is uh, 30 joule, right? 30 joule. Charge is 6 column, okay. So this is equals to 5 joule per column. And joule per column is wood. Joule per column is equal to wood. So the potential difference is 5 wood. So if you're not comfortable with the the, the the definitions but you still need to memorize the definition because this may be uh, this can be asked in exam so you memorize the definitions and then you memorize this formula okay and this formula can help you to solve the calculations problems so potential difference is how much work done to move one columns of charge eh? okay so that is potential difference so this example this this is the example in your notes eh? okay let's say uh, we have point a and point b and then we move two columns of charge from point a to point b and then we do 10 joules of work right so what's the potential difference between a and b potential difference between a and b is 10 joule per two column eh? we use a formula v equal to q over c eh? okay in this case the q is uh, 10 joule and the C is two column, right? Work, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I make a mistake. Uh, v equals to W over Q. Eh? V equals to W over Q. And uh, the work done is 10 joule and uh, the Q is two column. Q is two column. Eh? Okay. So therefore it's a 10 joule per two column. Okay. So it's five joule per column or five wood. So that is the potential difference between A and B. Eh? So potential difference is how much work done to move one column of charge or one unit of charge? 10 joule for two column, five joule for one column. So the potential difference is five wood.